You all really seem to enjoy my video on how I make large batches of face washes. So now I'm going to share with you how I make large batches of emulsions. I'm going to be making my Luna cream I sell over on my Etsy shop and we're going to be making a 500 gram batch. So first I grab a 500 milliliter glass beaker, a 1000 milliliter glass beaker, and then a 100 milliliter glass beaker. So I'm first going to be starting with my water phase. And of course you need to grab a digital scale and I'm using my 500 milliliter glass beaker for my water phase and combining all my ingredients. Now we're going to be working on our oil phase and I'm using my 1000 milliliter glass beaker. It's always a better idea to use your larger beaker for your oil phase because you're always going to be pouring your water phase into your oil phase. So you want your oil phase to have a larger container. So now we're going to cover these and heat them to 158 degrees Fahrenheit and hold it there for 20 minutes. So now we're going to be working on the cool down phase and I'm using a 100 milliliter glass beaker to combine all my cool down ingredients while my other two phases are heating up. So while I wait, I cover up my cool down phase just to make sure nothing falls in while it's being left unattended. So after both of our phases have been heated and held, you want to pour your water phase into your oil phase and immediately blend with an immersion blender. So what I like to do is just set my immersion blender in my water phase beaker in between mixes and I cover up the formulation with some aluminum foil and I always leave a hole for the vapor to escape from. That way it can cool down and then periodically I come back and mix it again and then recover it until everything has a completely emulsified. So now it's cooled down to 87 degrees Fahrenheit so I can add in my cool down ingredients. And I just pour a little bit of the cool down ingredients in at a time and mix it up until it is completely incorporated. So now we are all finished. So what I like to do is cover up my final formulation and of course I write on top of what it is and the date I made it and I pack it away in a gallon sized baggie that way I keep any oxygen out and it just stays as fresh as possible while it sits for 24 hours and the reason you want to let it sit for 24 hours is because sometimes emulsions are complete until it's sat for 24 hours and sometimes it just gets really fluffy and airy from mixing it up. So I just like to let it sit for 24 hours before I pack it up. 24 hours later we can finally package up our moisturizer and I always like to weigh out how much I'm putting into each container to make sure that I'm putting the same amount in my containers every single time. I filled up some 2 ounce jars, some 1 ounce jars and some five gram sample jars. I know this isn't like a really large batch, but it's a large batch for me. I know compared to, you know, big factories, this is very small. This lasts me quite some time and I like to keep my products as fresh as possible, but I also like to keep somewhat of an inventory so I'm not making things every single day. So let's move on to the Patreon shout outs. Essence of Nature over on Etsy. Stardust Bath and Body over on Instagram. Nature's Farm Girl at naturesfarmgirl.com, Kennedy's Essentials at kennedysessentials.net, Let's Blend at letsblend.bigcartel.com, Creative with Love at creativewithlove.me, Wallflower Wildflower at wallflowerwildflower.com, Heartfelt Beauty here on YouTube if you want some more formulating videos, Sugared underscore Pineapple over on Instagram, KAJ Bath and Body over on Etsy, Blue Mint Soaps at bluemintsoaps.com, and say Tara here on YouTube. Also, I sell products myself over on Etsy if you guys want to go check them out. All my patrons and my Etsy shop will be linked down in my description box. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have suggestions for any other future videos, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen I'm